In this tutorial, we will be learning how we can request a location or how we can get a location of uh, the user every five minutes or every uh, fixed duration according to what you need. So let's get started. First of all, I've already just created a project. This is an empty project. I just created a new project, no activity. As you can see here, I have nothing here and all these are uh, generated by default. So first what I'll do is, uh, I'll just create a layout. So this layout will not be used for anything. I'll just show a toast message uh, whenever I receive a location update every five minutes or every one minute or every second or whenever you want. So I'll just call it main activity. And this is a layout. Hit OK. And that's it. And then I'll never touch it again. So that was the Git thing. So if you don't have Git initialized in this project, you will not see that dialog box. And now I'll create a new activity here. This is where we'll be, do we'll be doing all the stuff. And I'll just call, call it main activity. And it will extend app compat activity so it is supported in some older devices. And now what we need to do is we need to implement location listener. So there is a method that this interface implements. See, you'll get an error message here because we have not just used this that method. So we just click Alt Enter and you'll see this pop up and you click on implement methods and these are the things that okay this is not it so you click, click alt enter and you implement methods and why am I not getting okay my bad my so very bad this is not what you want you want to do location listener not this thing and now you press alt enter and you'll see implement methods and there are so many methods but the one one you want is this first one so you implement this and you will have this thing and the error will be gone so what happens is whenever you request location and the location update is received this method will be called all right so actually this is called whenever uh, on location updates are or on whenever location changed uh, you know events are received but we'll be calling this request updates method every five minutes. So, all right. Now, what else? Uh, we need an on create method, right? So, to do that, you can press Control plus O, and you can write on create, and search for on create. Okay, there we go, and hit enter. And now you have your on create method. Here, first of all, what we need to do is we just set content view to our layout main activity and that's all for the layout will not be doing anything now first thing is first thing to remember is to get the location you need to ask for users permission all right so let's start with that and this is only required if android version is greater than 23 or marshmallow so what we do is we type build dot version dot sdk int is greater than or equal to 23 if that is the case we will proceed with asking the permission otherwise we can just request the location all right so if this is the case what we do is we ask for permissions now here you need to send the string of all the permissions that you want to ask and a request code so that we can whenever the user accepts or not accepts that we will use this request code to know which permissions are accepted or not so let's create a string here we'll create final static string permissions equals to we'll ask for manifest dot permission dot access course location and manifest dot permission dot access find location so whenever you need to access find we want to access find location this is like a more accurate location but whenever you access find location you also have to ask for this course location permission all right so we have our permissions here ready and Let's also create a request code. I'll just call it this and now let's request the permissions and the permissions here. 
send the permission request here now we have requested for the permissions now how do you know if the user has accepted or rejected the permissions right so we when if the user accepts we need to ask for what we need to ask for the uh, or we need to request for the location we need to request the location all right so now whenever a user again what i did is uh, so don't be confused i just pressed control o again and the uh, result of request uh, uh, result of permission request is received here on request request permission result yeah so this is where we re receive the result right and <coughs> so let's just check if grant results dot length is greater than zero that means we have uh, we have received the re uh, request response for more than more than zero requests all right and grant results equals to package manager dot permission granted so what we are checking here is if the grant result for the first one is granted so for for us the user will only have like to press for uh, only have to uh, accept one permission they'll only only be shown one permission of location access so that's why we are uh, using this zero zero here that is the first element of the array and if that is the case what we do is we just request location okay we don't have <laughs> request location method here so request location now so here is where we will be create creating a request location function r a q u e s t okay so, but this is not enough for permissions we need to add this to manifest also so you double click on manifest and directly this file will be open and now you just say use this permission and course location and uh, to duplicate this you just press ctrl d and you I need to access find location also all right here we are and now now we are going to request for our location so let's for that let's create again let's create a new method public void request location so this function will be requesting for location and to request location what we need to do is we need to create a location manager all right so let's just define a location manager here location manager location manager and let's initialize it in our on create itself so later we can just use it location manager equals to location manager get system service and the service name is location service so this is actually just location string it's the word location you can also use that okay so now once we have our location manager we can use that location manager to request for a location all right so what we check is if we check if the location manager has been initialized so if this is null again we have initialized it in our constructor so it, this will not be null but anyway let's just do it it's a good practice if you have not initialized it, initialize it there because you know java is nasty for <laughs> null pointer access okay it's the same thing and after that we check if gps is enabled so we check location manager dot is provider enabled and which provider are we looking for we are looking for location manager dot gps provider okay so if it is enabled what we do is we check if the permission is enabled or 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 let's not do this because you know we are only requesting this if the permission is enabled but yeah but if the user opens the app again then we will not be requesting permission that time so that time also yeah uh, let's check it here because in the app reopen 
but uh, if the request uh, permissions are not granted th then we will be asking this permission again if the app reopens so you can choose to not do it here in that case but I'll do it anyway so, uh, because you'll also need to learn if the permission is granted or not for a specific function so we just check if activity combat active activity combat activity combat dot check self permission we check if this permission is granted or not So if this is granted, what we do is we just ask for permission finally. So what we do is we use location manager and we request for location update and provider is again we'll be using GPS to get location. So we give GPS provider and here is <coughs> this is actually the minimum uh, amount of duration after which you requ uh, request location updates. Now, this minimum amount might or might not be followed, or it might be discarded ac according to the state your device is in. So, uh, uh, for our use case, we have uh, we want to use it. We want to look at receive location updates every five minutes, right? But passing five minutes here may or may not work. So, for now, we'll just pass something here. Let's say just. In, we need to pass it in milliseconds, so this is milliseconds, so this is one second. Let's say we want to pass every one second, and the minimum distance you need to move after which you'll receive location updates. So let's say this is in meters, so I'll just say 1,000. And after that, 1,000 uh, meters. And after that, this. This is the part where you you know you pass the location listener since we are listening for location here itself you can pass this which means this activity alright now I've not paid much much attention to this because uh, this may or may not be followed by Android and since we want to request location every five minutes we will be calling this function every five minute alright so now what we did here is okay, this is it and if the permission is request permission else we just request for permission location so yeah this is pretty much good now what we have done is we have asked for permission and whenever we receive a permission uh, this method will be called with the new location that is passed here so the requesting part is done here now the receiving location part is done here alright so now uh, I'll just log Let's call it my log and we'll say got location and get latitude plus location dot get longitude longitude or longitude whatever you call it so yeah when we receive, when we request the location uh, and this is where we'll be receiving location changes and uh, now I've just logged it let me just put a toast message here also I'll put the same thing as toast okay wrong parameter first I need to pass context and just pass this and then the message and then the toast message after receiving the location what I'll do is I'll just remove the updates alright because we no longer need the update we have done whatever we want and yeah so asking for permission once is done here right so on the quest permission no 
we'll remove this else because yeah we just because uh, we'll request permission request location and we will be accessing location only if GPS provider is enabled here and if once permission is provided even then we will, we will need to request location that's why I am I just removed the else all right so okay now what do we have is we have asked for the permission here once or here once okay and after asking for the permission we get the permission uh, location updates here now uh, this is just done once we need to do this every five minutes all right so to do that we will use a handler now what handler does is uh, it calls a function or it does whatever we want it to do every fixed interval every fixed period you know um, I don't know if I said it right but whatever so let's say we are requesting location here using handler we can request location here every five minutes or every other duration that you want so we'll just initialize a handler here and we'll call it new handler right and we'll just write handler dot post delayed new runnable and what do we want what do we want this to run we want it to run our request location all right so yeah and after in the run what do we need to do is we need to pass just first let's get rid of these things because here we want to uh, pass something so as you can see here it says uh, to get this these these solutions you need to press control space sorry control that is for solutions there you said you need to press for parameters you need to press control p so you get you are passing you need to pass long delay so for the first time when will this thing run this request location for the first time it will let's say we need to make it run after a second so you just pass thousand milliseconds or you can just pass zero here uh, for the sake of passing something let's just pass thousand there and you need to then call this post delete method here so what this does is and we want, to want this to run every five minutes so what this post delete does is it will run this run function every five minutes or every so that is defined that will be defined here so now this one is when do we want to run this function for the first time so after this runs this function will be called after one second all right so if this is one second now this is one minute and this is five minutes right so yeah now this run will be called every five minutes okay this is it now one thing if you notice uh, when we are getting the request permission result then we are calling this request location every five minutes but now in, in the second opening of the app or if another version is uh, less than 23 we will not be requesting permissions so directly this thing is called so here also we can replace by this thing all right yep there we go and and we are done so this is how you can get request get location every five minutes or if you change it to one every one minute or if you just do this every one second this is up to you I have the link to this thing in the git uh, hub I have this thing in the github and the link can be found in the description below peace out